What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 continuing on our Let's Play. This is part 24 And I just want to give a massive thank you to all of you guys who've been checking out these videos smashing the like button I really appreciate it. If you haven't heard yet, we're doing a giveaway links in the description down below for Forza Horizon 3 The ultimate edition if you want it go check it out It comes with like a bunch of DLC and a bunch of cool stuff Anyways, what we're doing today is we are building a very very good race car last part We built this Land Rover and we did a bunch of awesome off-roading, but today, today, I spoke about it in the last video, I want to build an amazing off-road car today. And let's see, what would make for a really good race car? Like, that's already such a good race car. I might want to do something like that in the future, or we've got, like, the, the, the R8 Le Mans car. Obviously, we've got these race cars in here. I sort of want to build my own. I keep looking at this car. I've got, no, not that. I keep looking at that. The BMW M3 from 2005 is the E46 one. And I know it has a really crazy wide body kit, and I think, I think it could be one hell of a race car. I'm not sure why, but I feel like it could be. The 05 M3 is awesome. How could you go wrong with it? Also, we've got a crazy, war uh, we've got a crazy rocket bunny kit for it. You can see how wide it is. It's so wide. Can we do that in here? Can we, can we? Oh. Oh, upgrade to purchase as a part of this installing setup will be free. Well, thank you, game. I appreciate it. We could toss on the Rocket Bunny wide body kit. Okay, and then we sort of need to build this up ourselves. So let's head in here, rear wing. We could toss on the BMW. That's like an M3 sort of like race car -y wing. Or we could go with the Rocket Bunny sort of rear lip. Or we can go with the Forza wing, which is very race car. I think I want to go with a lip just because I, I don't know. I, I find lips look cooler. I don't know. If is, is that just me who finds lips look cooler? So anyways, engines, I think we'll leave the stock engine in. I sort of have a thing right now for leaving the stock engine in cars. I don't know what it is. Anyways, turboed, uh, we got the rocket bunny kit. And let's just make this thing into more of a race car. So now I'm thinking we should make this thing probably S1 class is what I'm thinking. So if we, if we throw a bunch of these body mods on, or a bunch of these upgrades on, I think we'll come out with something that looks pretty cool. And can hopefully drive quite quickly as well. This car is so lifted up. It's it's so ugly. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's so slammed. That rear wheel is like touching. If we hit a bump, say goodbye to that fender. Uh, weight reduction. Do we need any weight reduction? I mean, that makes us really fast. Maybe we should go right there. And then head into engine. And how much horsepower do we have? We've... Oh, wow. We've already got 500 horsepower. So, okay. I don't want more horsepower. Let's make this thing lighter and then just leave it like that. S1, 880 for our PI? Sure. Sure. We'll stay at that. That that looks awesome. That looks so good. Free upgrades. Thank you, game. Let's just go in here and see if we can slam it down anymore. We can indeed. We can slam the front down quite a bit more. How awesome does this M3 look? Oh my god, it's like full-on race car. It barely gets wheel spin. Oh my god, that's- oh my god, look at that flame that's currently coming out the exhaust. Alright, so last episode we went in here and we upgraded the Yarra Valley Festival to level 5. So, I think we want to head potentially all the way out here, do like PR stun out there. We've got an undiscovered route out there. So, oh, 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 bucket list! We've got a bucket list right here. Let's go start up with that bucket list, get the PR stun right there. PR stud there and start heading out. Let's do like a big circle in today's episode. Okay, cool. Also, in case you missed last episode, I spoke about convoys and stuff like that and I, how I really want to go for this convoy achievement. So I need to keep honking at everyone like that and like making them follow me and stuff like that so I can get the achievement for doing like, I think it's like a hundred miles of convoys and you get an achievement for it. So we're, we're doing that throughout everything. So we're going to be driving from place to place to place. Basically, no fast travel. We just gotta make, meet up with, with a drivatar like him and just cruise, basically, to, to where we need to go. I am definitely excited to see how this thing goes, but we will need to hold off on that for a little bit because we are coming in here and we are starting today's episode off with a bucket list in, dun, 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 in a van. Oh, no. In the Project 7 Jag F-Type. What are we gonna be doing in this thing? Race a storm to Surfer's Paradise in the F-Type Project 7. So is this just like, get to the point in the shortest time? This is going to be race to the destination. We have five minutes to do so. All right, little left. Oh god, we can't drive through that. Our last couple bucket lists, we have, I am ashamed to say, we have had a couple of issues with them. We've been failing a lot of these recently, and I don't want to keep that trend up. And we're currently on the wrong side of the barrier. There we go. Finally on the road thumping it through the through the jungle 
and headed towards Surfer's Paradise. We have five miles to do in five minutes. I think we can do it. We need to let this Jag fly with its monstrous V8 and the dot and the, and the funny little white teeth. Oh boy, does it look good. It's bright racing green as well. It's looking good crashing into the AI and, and whatnot. All right, let's put the hammer down and start flying towards Surfer's Paradise. Shooting flames everywhere this F-Type goes. Oh my god, it's awesome. All right, come on. Around the roundabout. Brilliant. 3.7 miles to go. I love this music in the background. It makes me feel like I'm in like a pantomime. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just great. I love it. I don't know if it's just me, but I love driving and like ripping it at like 150 miles an hour plus with like classical music on in the background. It's so great. I love it. And we can finally see Surfer's Paradise up in the distance. We have 1.6 miles to go. Breaking and we're going into the city now. Let's get a little bit of a drift on through there. Yeah. Oh shit. I've spun. All right. We got one mile to do in two and a half minutes. I don't know if we just drove faster this one, or if we like corner cut by accident. I didn't intentionally corner cut, but I don't know, man. We, uh, we sort of did this one rather well. Oh, AI car, why did you do that? You made me poo myself. Anyways, just like that. Bucket list number 20 is done. 11,000 credits for that, that's not too bad. And we're picking up 12,000 XP, getting close to leveling up, going up to level 200. And 14. That's not too bad. Look at that. Seven, 17 million fans, nearly 18 million fans. We need 20 million. Nearly 21 million fans. We need like 3 million more fans. It's unbelievable. It's going to take us a very, very long time. But I mean, I'm excited. We get to keep doing the series, man. So I'm okay with it. All right. So bucket list completed. And then we were going to go head down here to this PR set. Aha. Yeah. Good. And then that PR set all the way over there. Cool. We got a bunch of cool stuff to do today. I'm mostly excited about this M3, if I'm honest, though. I mean, it's so cool. It's so wide. I love a good Rocket Bunny kit on a car. So what is this PR stunt going to be? I have a feeling... Oh, it's a speed zone. Oh, God, we're doing it. I... Uh, okay. I didn't really know that. I didn't expect that. All right, just, just keep ripping it. We'll do as well as we can. Uh, we're also at night in the rain in this, in this BM, which is not helping the situation at all right now. But there's 120 miles an hour. Is that good at all? I really have no idea. One, two stars. I mean, not bad. 130,000 fans for that. That's going to be quite a big help. We really need more of those PR stunts, if I'm honest. Because the, the races and whatnot take us a really long time to do. A sick GTR there, man. Uh, the races and stuff take us a really, really long time to do. But, like, PR stunts take, like, two seconds, right? So they're a really good way to get fans. We just need more of them. All right, so let's head down here. I think this is another speed zone. It is indeed. May have taken the corner a bit quick. Too quick. Drifting everywhere. Jesus Christ. 119 miles an hour. I think that's going to be like one star, if I'm honest. And this is our undiscovered route right up here. One. Yeah, one. Are we going to be like one mile an hour off? I bet you're going to be one mile an hour off. Let's see. Oh, thank you, AI car. Are we going to be one mile an hour off? Is it going to tell me? It didn't. Well, that's disappointing. Anyways, exhibition race, the BMW Super Saloons. Let's jump in our M3. This is the Maru- oh, it's gone. Maroon Da Dam Sprint. Cool name for a race. If you missed last episode, we, we saw a bunch of super, super rare Horizon Edition cars. So if you missed it, go check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go rip it. Oh, we got the Ginge in this race. The Ginge is here. I think, is that no Rouge? I think it is. Oh no, it's a Lexus, that. That's like a GS. The Eau Rouge is all the way up here. All right, Ginge. Ginge, that was not helpful. I'm back in ninth place now. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is why I get nervous in these races, man. It's like, my car is not incredibly fast. I purposely built it so it wasn't a rocket ship. And to be honest, it's kind of slow. Oh, there's an Eau Rouge. Oh no, that's a Maserati. I'm getting so confused with cars. Oh, someone, who's knocking down all these Horizon signs? Up the Maserati. Drafting the Maserati. I mean, it's not really drafting if you're crashing into the back of him, are you? Past the Mercedes. Round the outside. He did a dab of brakes. I'm not going to. I held that in. May have crashed a bit, but worth it. All right, we're 30% of the way through this race. And if I'm honest, we're not doing particularly well. This race is really not suiting the BM today. Oh, God. All the way back in 10th position. 
And I genuinely can't catch up to any of these people. I need, like, more downforce. Closing the gap on that Maserati. Boom. Little dab of the brakes there around that corner. Round the inside on the Maserati. Oh, over the huge dam. This is where the game started. All right, come on, boys. We're heading towards... Where are we heading towards? We're, like, going into Yarra Valley nearly. This race is going so poorly, though. I have 25% to go. And I'm in ninth place. Oh, God, I'm popping wheelies. Yeah, this car just doesn't turn. I've realized it doesn't... The Rocket Bunny kit's cool and all, but it doesn't actually provide any downforce. Like, at all. None at all. Smash into the Mercedes. Oh, look on the Mercedes. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, well, okay, well, I mean, that race didn't go particularly well, if I'm honest. Eighth place is awful. The O Rouge won. Wow. That thing's fast. So now I don't know what to do to this car. It's like, it's not fast or well, it's fast enough. It just doesn't have enough downforce to go around these corners. That's mainly what I need. And it's just like, oh, it's not working. Oh, look at that leveled up level 214. Come on, Horizon Edition car. Come on, buddy. Am I going to get two grand? Don't look, don't look. Is it going to be two grand? It's going to be two grand. No, no, I'm predicting, I'm predicting five grand. Seven grand. God damn it. Some pretty decent fans there, 150,000. We're still so far away from expanding our festival. We have two more festival expansions to go. And it's just like, oh, it takes forever. And if I'm honest, I don't really know. Oh, we've gotten a race all the way over there. Okay, it's basically a straight line. Let's just let's just try to get an AI car to drive with us. AI car, would you like to drive me, Mercedes? Drive with me. No, none of you are dri drive with me. Yes! Yes, 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 he's driving with me. I need to, like, convoy for 100 miles, or at least that's what I think the achievement is. I haven't actually gone and checked. So if I'm wrong, whoops! And then I guess we're driving to all these destinations for no reason. Oh my god, I nearly got killed by an X5. I mean, this BM's fast. Like, look at it. It's ex it accelerates so quickly, and it's actually really good. It just doesn't have the downforce and the grip to go around these cores. It's rocking the... It's rocking race tires. It's actually rocking the Horizon Edition wheels. It's just like, ah. Uh. And we've arrived at the Yarra Yali. Oh, Yarra Yarra Bridge Cross Country. It's a cross country event. And I'm in a rear drive BMW with a lack of grip. This should go badly. Not only is this a cross country event, it is a cross country event at night. Let's see how the BM does. I have been conned before. Where they've said, oh, you're doing a rally race or a cross-country race. And then, like, 5% of it is off-road. So, that has screwed me before. I'm hoping I unscrew myself here with having the majority of this race on the road. Which doesn't seem like that's happening right now. As being proved by the fellow BMs in the air. But I am somehow in fourth position. How? Maybe I've built third place now. Maybe I've built a Rally Rocket Bunny M3. <laughs> what? Oh my god, look at him back there. Look at them. They're all having so many problems. At least, at least my car is controllable back here. Turn. Oh, just avoiding the tree. Turn. It doesn't turn very well. Oh, don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. Thank you, M3. It's actually not that bad off-road. He says as he bounces his way through the fields. Avoiding the trees just oh This is so stressful. Also, you know that I was hoping some of this race would be on the road Apparently none of it is cross country in my book means like half race uh, on the road half race off the road Yeah, it's it's all been on the off-road right now. Can you not bully me this time? Look, he's trying to do it again You cheeky bugger you trying to make me miss the checkpoints all right, can we get back on the road? Can we get back on the road? Please, 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 please. None of this race has been on the road. I'd just like that to be known. Oh, bend it. I want to put the car in reverse. For God's sake, man. We were doing well. We were in third place. And then on the final straight with bend it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, make this place up. Make this place up around the break. Oh, for God's sake. Don't pass me, don't pass me, don't pass me. He passed me. Never, ever, 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 ever take a rock bunny car off-road. Because it just doesn't go well. X6 one, followed up by an X5. Hmm. I wonder why. I was in third. 
throughout the entire race and then I binned it. The car rolled and I couldn't do anything about it. 10,000 XP? Really? You're gonna make me 300 XP away from leveling up? Are you Are you really? 150,000 fans? It's not like it's gonna help. We're so far away from leveling up. So where are we heading now? We are heading all the way up here to this race, which will hopefully be on the road. But I think there's a barn find right there. So we should probably get that. We are really far away from it. So let's, let's fast travel to here on our little drift road. Oh, you know what? We should have done a little cheeky test of it. I have a feeling. I don't know why it's going to be up here, but I feel like it will be. I'm just flying around. Is this a building? Is this a building? Is this it? Is this it? Oh, I found a little complex. Is this it? Oh, the barn. We found it. And a tractor's wheel, apparently. So now we're immediately breaking the rule that I just set for myself by taking a rock bunny car off road. But I mean, it should be okay just for this. Here we go. Nailed it. We've arrived at the barn in our M3 and still dropping frames every single time we do. Mr. Richie Rich with 16 mm. That is Will that, right? Look at those lines. This isn't just any Ferrari. This is a 166. First car they ever won Le Mans with. Oh, the shit. car that started that. it all. And the poor thing looks like it's been sandblasted. If you're driving out in the outback, yes, that would be a thing, Warren. Um, so where are we going? It's a, it's a 16. Six mm. I missed a six apparently. All right. Anyways, roots just a. What? All right. Let's let's hope and pray that we haven't like wasted our time with this thing and it will actually win a race. Cause I mean, it's awesome. It's just, it's not that fast. All right. Let's go in our final race in the Rocket Bunny M3. It is raining, so I mean, uh, we'll see how this goes. Breaking into the corner, 7th place, make that 8th place, that C63 is fast, man! This is really where we need as much grip as possible, and as this thing does not have very much- Ooh, came into there rather quickly. Up the back of a- of a rocket bunny- Is that a rocket bunny or a liberty walk? M4. Oh, now we're nestled behind a Maserati! Ooh, nice little line through there. Sort of snuck myself past the Maserati, and past the BM around the inside. And I'm gonna drop the power. Oh, a little bit of late braking. Oh, past the past the M4. This is some seriously good race. Oh, I missed the checkpoint. Tighter line, tighter line, tighter line. Yes, past the businessman's Lexus. Come on, up the inside, braking hard. Lexus going wheel to wheel. We're gonna push the Lexus out. Yes, that's gonna be fourth place for our M3. Yes, we're 30% of the way through this race. We're already in third. Oh, we may have turned the tables on this one, lads. This one is looking good. All right, come on. Come on, M3. We got this. No braking here. No braking here. Keep it in flat. I hit the checkpoint. Oh, look at that gap shrink. So much on the C63. Braking hard. Use the C63 as a brake. Come on, and we've closed that gap entirely. We're halfway through this race now. Try to go up the inside on the C63. We're going wheel to wheel. Wheel to wheel. Oh, yes, I've got the, th I've got the C63. All right, now we got some fast things. I think these are the infinities up here. They're goddamn Red Bulls. I don't want to waste all my ro all my money on this Rocket Bunny M3 and not have it win a single race in these videos. Yes, past one infinity. That was an infinity, right? Oh, that was a Tesla. Oh my god, I didn't know there was a Tesla all the way up here. That's the P90D with the ludicrous mode and everything. I'm surprised I haven't driven one of those just yet. And now we've got the big challenge. The Infinity O-Rouge, come on. Look at that gap he pulled. And the C63's fighting back. The, the, the Tesla cannot compete with his high atop speed right now. Come on, we've got one final corner. If he breaks, he's gonna slow it down. The Infinity is gonna keep it in and keep it into the finish line. Second for the M3 Rocket Bunny. I mean, that's definitely an improvement. But damn, we still lost by two seconds to the Eau Rouge. Oh my god, that thing is fast. Look at it, it's won two races now or three races? That's unbelievable, 16,000 credits for that. I really wanna be back up at, at 46 million, man. It's so tempting. I think we also just leveled up as well. I don't know for what we did, but I think we leveled up. Anyways, there's some decent amount of fans. And hey, look at that, we're only two million fans away now. I think from this episode, we picked up around a million fans or so. That's pretty good. So let's finish this up with a PR stunt all the way down here. It is on the road and sort of like just next to us. So we will uh, we'll head down there. We'll try to pick up a convoy guy to uh, to drive with us and then we'll call it a day. 
Oh, we've got an Eau Rouge in our convoy now. I'm just going past all these guys, like, just honking and picking them all up. What is this convoy up here? Oh, this is the speed zone as well. Okay, okay. Uh, keep it in. Keep the power in. Do a little quarter cut through the through the parking lot. All right, back onto the road. All right, uh, convoy, please don't crash into me. Please don't crash into me or cut me off. Thank you very much for not doing that. 122 miles an hour. I think that should be pretty good. That should be roughly two stars. One. Oh. And let's wrap this episode up with an XP. Oh. With a failed XP board attempt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thank you for watching. Click that like button. Continue to smash it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with part 25 of this. Let's play. Check out the giveaway link in the description. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.